Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we are revisiting the Beretta APX Centurion. I picked this up about a year and a half ago and a lot of people who watch my videos said they love the gun. And now that I have a lot of rounds through it, I can say this thing has performed very well. Now, one of the things that is branded with the APX line are the slide serrations. You can take one look at those and say, that's an APX. But what the Centurion offers is a cross between a compact size with a four inch barrel and a subcompact with a three inch barrel. And this offers a 3.7 inch barrel and 15 round magazines. I'm revisiting it because I have not been to the range in quite a while with this and I wanted to bring it out because I love the APX line and I really like the APX A1 line. I was just looking at the Breda site and the tactical model with the 4.7 or 8 inch barrel is MSRPing around 550 so I'm going to look deep into that but right here we've got the Centurion the squared slide right there as I mentioned 3.7 inch barrel but a very nice trigger now I was fortunate enough to get my hands on the compact size it was, well actually it was a full size like a 4.2 inch barrel APX when it, it first launched and I was impressed I said that trigger is very smooth with a nice reset the disassemble well it it could be challenging i've had some that just came apart others that i have to work at this one i have to work at it's modular and that's nice if you want to pull out that trigger chassis and put it into a different frame I really like the triggers that the APX offers. And this one has 15 round mags. So I think I mentioned that, but the mag release sticks out a little bit, it's triangular. It can be switched over to the other side, but it does have an ambidextrous slide stop, which is always a nice touch. How good would a revisit video be if I didn't do a lip wrist test? But before I do that, I wanna see if I force this, if it will, drop the slide and that time it did and a round is chambered all right lipris test <laughs> oh. <laughs> hunter biden <laughs> illegal gun purchase <laughs> <laughs> wow no problem the APX Centurion like a boss when it comes to the Lipris test One of the APX models that I did not care for was the APX Carry. I had some issues with it. I sent it back to Beretta. Basically, I saw that as a Beretta Nano 2.0. But when I got to Centurion, I said, I like that one. And I like the full-size model. But I am really going to like that tactical model, the Beretta APX A1 tactical and I've got my eyes on that it's optic ready has a threaded barrel deeper cut serrations 21 round mags it, it seems to hit all the bells and whistles for an MSRP of 550 now if you compare that to the FN edge with an MSRP closer to 1150 1200 dollars it seems to me to ha have the same type of platform with a much reduced costs so hopefully next time i talk about the apx i'll have that one to show you but today 
I wanted to bring out the APX Centurion because it's been a while. I like the handgun. It has been very reliable. I've had it for about a year and a half, maybe two years though. I'm not sure. But I do enjoy the pistol. And I think if somebody wanted to carry this, it wouldn't be a bad choice. Hit you right in the mix of the compact size and the subcompact size. Sort of a hybrid type of platform, but it certainly has been reliable for me. And the feedback that I've gotten is that it has been reliable for many people that have watched my first one or two videos. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.